silver friends this is Jolie from Quicksilver Hair and today I'm going to clarify a few things well about your hair anyways I want to talk about clarifying today because I think it's a very important step in your overall routine to your healthiest shiniest best looking silver hair what is clarifying well it is using a specific shampoo designed to remove product buildup like silicones polyquats and waxes or mineral buildup from chlorine in the pool or from your hard water, or it can be for pollutants in the air like smoke and pollution from city life. One product can cover all of those things, one of those things, or some of those things. So we'll get into that and I'll teach you about what ingredients to look for that will help you um, achieve the best clarifying possible. I look at clarifying as a reset point. I consider it this like if there's something not quite right, it's like rebooting your computer. You can turn it off, turn it back on, and things get better, okay? So there's a list of reasons to clarify, and I'm gonna go over those with you now, and then we'll go on to products and when to use them. If you need to start using new products, this is key. If you are going to, if you, let's say you bought a whole new line of products, clarify first, remove the old products from your hair, and then you get a real sense of how those new products are behaving and working with your hair type. If you use silicones, toning shampoos like purple and blue shampoo, or you use uh, co-washing to wash your hair, clarifying is very important to remove buildup from your hair and your scalp. So I would say you definitely want to add clarifying to your routine if you have any of those things in your, in your current routine. Specifically, I think that clarifying is more important than purple or blue shampoos and should be your first go-to step before you hit purple and blue shampoos because you could have product buildup that's causing yellowing and then you don't need the purple or blue shampoos for toning. If your regular products seem like they're just not working anymore, you might wanna clarify. Um, there's two reasons for this. The products could be reformulated, which you'll know that after you clarify and then start using the products again. Or your hair has become tolerant to the products and the buildup from the products has changed and altered the behavior of your hair. Which brings me to the next point, is if you have lost volume, your hair is frizzy, your hair is just not behaving the way it normally does, it's not cooperating with you, clarify because you may have something that's built up on your hair like minerals from your water that is changing the behavior of your hair. If your hair feels straw-like or very dry, this seems counterintuitive, but clarify. Now you will want to follow with deep conditioner afterwards, but you definitely want to clarify and see if you've got something like a protein buildup or a bond build builder buildup on your hair and see if that helps soften your hair and make it feel less straw-like. If your scalp or your hair feels greasy, it's time to clarify. If you have excess hair shedding, try clarifying your scalp. This would involve, you know, massaging your scalp with a clarifying shampoo. This would loosen up the sebum off of the scalp and any de dead skin cells that might be blocking the follicle and causing it to shed excess hair. If you have itchy scalp, bumps on your scalp, pimples on your scalp, etc. Clarify. It might help to also clean that dead skin cells and the sebum off of your scalp and help clarify the skin just like you would exfoliate your face. If you are a regular swimmer you want clarifying in your routine no questions asked unless you're swimming in a saltwater pool. If you're swimming in a saltwater pool you might not need to clarify as often but you may still want to remove that salt buildup from your hair. If you have well water or hard water, same thing. You're gonna to wanna to clarify regularly because the minerals in your water will build up on your hair and cause it to misbehave. If your hair is dull, dingy, lifeless, limp, any of those things, clarify. You might have buildup of some sort that is causing it to look that way. So how do you clarify? Well. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you are starting with your scalp. You want to use either your fingertips, not your fingernails, or a scalp massaging brush and you want to get it down on your scalp and massage and lather your scalp. You can scrub with your fingertips as hard as you want 
The reason I say don't use your nails is because you can make micro cuts in your scalp and you don't want to do that. And your fingertips are plenty to knock off the dead skin cells and help loosen up all of the debris on your scalp. The second thing you want to do when you're clarifying is the good old rinse and repeat. A good clarifying is put on that clarifying shampoo and rub it in, get it nice and massaged in, let it sit for about two minutes, rinse it out thoroughly, and then shampoo again with the clarifying shampoo like you regularly would shampoo. Now, what this does is the first round helps break up all of that buildup on your hair, and then the second round helps carry it all away. I say there are five different ways to clarify. Daily, weekly, routinely, which can mean 10 days, 20 days, whatever, monthly, and then heavy duty clarifying. So let's go over how and what you wanna look at per category. So every wash day clarifying should be gentle clarifying. It should be a gentle shampoo, but it should effectively help you if you have um, hair that is thin or fine and easily weighed down. If you have an oily scalp, that will help reduce the oil. And if you're an everyday swimmer, you definitely want to have a lightly clarifying shampoo that you're using on the daily. And a really good method of using a purple shampoo or purple conditioner is to clarify with a daily clarifying shampoo beforehand. So some of the best daily clarifying shampoos out there, there's one by Loma called Daily Shampoo. And I feel that it fits in this category because it is a pretty potent shampoo. It's not moisturizing, it's not nourishing, it is very cleansing. So I fit it into the daily category. Then my favorite gentle clarifying shampoo to recommend to people that you can use daily is a Cures Curiously Clarifying Shampoo. You all know I talk about it all the time. This one's great if you wanna use it daily or weekly. I am a weekly clarifier. <laughs> I wash my hair three times a week and I generally on that third wash will clarify with a light clarifying shampoo. I do this because I have fine hair, I have hair on the thin side, and I have wavy hair. So all three of those types have the tendency to get weighed down easily. If you use silicones, polyquats, or waxes, you'll want to clarify once a week just to remove that buildup and hit that reset button. Um, <clears throat> if you tend to get bumps on your scalp or you're shedding, clarifying once a week might be a good idea at this point. So what weekly clarifying shampoos are on the safe side? You can use a Cure Curiously Clarifying Shampoo also. You can use hair print chelating shampoo, which is the one I use. You can use Undo Goo from Malibusi. All of those are gentle enough to use on a weekly basis. Um, if you swim, you wanna get a swimmer's shampoo specifically for that. There's one by Paul Mitchell and I'm sure there's plenty of others out there that you can try. So routine maintenance clarifying. This just means that you fit it in somewhere if you don't need it weekly, you might need it every 10 days, you might need it every two weeks, you might need it every three weeks, etc. You wanna find out where that spot is that is the sweet spot to reset your hair and go from there. And this is great for, you know, extending it out is great for people who don't typically get buildup or maybe their hair is slightly on the dry side and you don't wanna dry it out further. That's, you know, you wanna push those clarifying uh, days out so that you're not over clarifying your hair and drying it out. Um, if your hair feels very straw-like or very dry, you want to do some routine clarifying and deep conditioning to help combat that issue until it grows out. Again, silicone removal, polyclot removal, co-washing, it will help uh, reset your hair from all of those things. My favorite routine maintenance clarifying is to do a Quicksilver hair mask. I've always recommended that you use the Acura Curiously Clarifying Shampoo before you do a Quicksilver mask. However, because I live with hard water, I have found that the chelating shampoo from Hairprint works way better for me. 
So if you have hard water or you have kind of a stubborn buildup that you're having trouble with, try this with your Quicksilver hair mask instead. Then the final phase of clarifying is big guns clarifying. So let's say you've done your monthly routine and you still got something, something's still not right, your hair's not behaving the way you want it to, um, or you have some yellowing and you're trying to figure out what's going on, that's when I would move to something like Neutrogena anti-residue shampoo. Now this is some potent stuff. This has a lot of surfactants in it that are very strong. So I really highly recommend that you do not ever use this without following with a deep conditioner. So chelating ingredients that you look for in a shampoo would be disodium EDTA, tetrasodium EDTA, and there are several others out there. Those are the most common ones you'll find. And those typically um, are capable of grabbing minerals and pulling them off of the hair, which is what chelating shampoo is designed to do. So an ingredient that you wanna use for typical buildup, like polyquats, silicones, and so forth, and this would be something that you would look for in your weekly clarifying shampoo, is sodium C1416 olefin sulfonate. It is not a sulfate, however, it is as strong as a sulfate and will help break down all of the buildup and so forth on your hair. This is a favorite for sulfate-free clarifying. And it works really well for weekly clarifying. Um, it is in the Malibu Sea Undo Goo and is great for just product buildup really. It doesn't do really well with well water, hard water buildup. You want to go for the chelating agents for that. Okay, so if you're struggling with understanding hard water and whether or not you have hard water, you can get a simple kit from Amazon that tests your hard water, or you can check with your local water authority and they should be able to tell you how hard your water is. If your water is really hard, an Aqua Bliss water filter or similar filter that you attach to your shower is incredibly helpful. I have one and I change the filter out about every four months and I found that to be very beneficial for my curls and for not getting any hard water staining on my silver hair. The final note for, cl for clarifying is always, always, always follow with a very moisturizing um, conditioner or deep conditioner, which that will be my next video is on deep conditioning. Everything that I've discussed today in this post is in the description box below. I have a full post, an ultimate guide on clarifying on the website that will also be linked below. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, shine on.